Hey, what's Chicken Bacon? I'm Cassie Frass and welcome to my art video for today. I've been reading up a lot of my art books in my book collection and one that's really sh um, struck an accord with me right now is 101 Things to Learn in Art School by Kit White. So I've been inspired to actually discuss some of the concepts that they are going over in the book because I, I feel like it would be nice to talk about it in depth. The piece I'm working on in this video is a sketchbook piece I've done in uh, markers and aligned with fine liners. I'm trying to work on my marker skills a little bit more. So this is more of a concept piece than it is a finished piece. This might turn into a painting one day, who knows? There's actually two concepts or topics that I want to go over um, described in the book. One is learn to accept criticism and critique, and the other is they go hand in hand together. Humility is critical to an honest evaluation. I feel like this is really important, especially to artists who haven't necessarily been to like studio classes or have taken any actual art classes in general. They don't know how to accept critiques. I feel like critiques, they're the foundation of getting an art education. Um, I haven't been in a class since high school, which is going to be well over five years and it just really helps me a lot. I don't have that necessarily um, support group that I had in class where they would evaluate and critically think about a piece of artwork. When I was getting regular critiques um, of my artwork, I improved so much more as opposed to now because that um, few, I'm gonna say nine, ten months of having that art class in high school helped me improve so much. It was like the greatest time of improvement in my art life. And it's natural to get defensive when you're receiving a critique because you'd be like, oh, well, I did this for this reason. And it's not necessarily an attack on your character. It's not an attack on you. It's not an attack on your art. It's not an attack at all. It's just, it's like an analysis of your work. And these people aren't trying to bring you down. They're actually trying to raise you up so that you could become a better artist. I feel like if you're too con no, not confident, but too comfortable with your art skills, then that will keep you from improving because you're staying at like a stagnant sort of skill and your art skills can always be improved. It could always get better. So if you're sitting there like, you can't critique me because this is the best thing ever made, then you peaked. And that's kind of sad. I wouldn't want to peak as a young artist. Like, why would I want to peak in my 20s when I could live well into my 80s, 100s? That's not even like a quarter of my life when I peaked. Your art is not above being critiqued and criticized as other artists have been because <laughs> look at um, Van Gogh, his art was heavily criticized and critiqued and if, you feel like you're above that then there might be <laughs> some analysis and evaluation of yourself that you should think of because even the greatest artist will be critiqued you need to stay humble because that's how you improve that's how you learn to get better if you think there's nothing wrong with your art that no one can critique and criticize you then what's wrong with you? Are you above like every professionally trained studio artist out there? Like you see plenty of artists anywhere and they'll be getting critiqued. It doesn't matter what subject, what m medium they're drawing and what style you'll see plenty of people. I've seen realism artists, I've seen surrealism, abstract. They all get critiqued and read to the filth 
okay, maybe read to the filth is not the right <laughs> terminology. Uh, I and understand that most people aren't gonna be like this. This is trash. I spit on your grave. I spit on your ancestors' graves. I want to hammer your hand so you can never create another monstrosity ever again. No, that that's not gonna happen. Like, there's a good chance that no one's gonna necessarily care or put enough effort into your piece of artwork to make you feel bad about it. It might feel like they're saying that, but th they are. They're just trying to show you that you could do better. I know some people feel like being criticized is like, well, I like it's an attack, but it's not. It's just, I feel like when I get criticized that it's someone saying, hey, you could do better. And it motivates me to do better. And that's the sort of mindset I try to keep. A good way to get used to getting critiqued is to critique yourself, which I know sounds weird because some people are like, oh, I'm my harshest critic, but are you really? Do you look at a piece and analyze and think about it, or do you look at a piece and think, oh, this is garbage, I hate it? Because there is a difference. There's this way of critiquing, I believe it's called the sandwich method, where you look at a piece, you think about what you like, you think about what you don't like, and when you think about what you don't like, you think of how you can improve it, how you can make it better. So you sort of have like these two positives, the what you like and the how to make it better. And then you have the negative, the what you don't like. And that, that's a real kind way to critique. So I feel like when you get in that mindset, it helps you a lot into learning to accept criticism. That's how I would critique in high school. There's such a thing as growing pains and um, it's gonna make you uncomfortable to do some things. But that's how you learn, that's how you grow, that's how you blossom into a better artist is by <laughs> doing this and learning to accept criticism. That that is something you need to learn to do as an artist. If you have like glass bones and fragile paper skin, it, it's gonna be hard out there for you as an artist. And it's just something you need to learn to do in order to grow. You need to take off the rose colored glasses per se and Except that not everyone's gonna like your art and that not even if somebody that does like your art they're they're still gonna criticize and analyze your artwork as a critique and there's nothing wrong with that it, it helps you a lot to accept criticism and think about it art is subject to criticism because it is a reflection on society on how society sees itself and depending on the subject matter it, it, it's a view on something so the, the work will always have um, meaning to it and you want to critique how people view and think about things don't you like even with video games you could love a game but you think critically of it and be like oh you know what would make this better you know what I would enjoy for the next part of the series so just think about it like that in your artwork if Picasso if Van Gogh if all these famous artists were being critiqued and criticized stay humble you're gonna be subject to that as well you're not above them and if your work wasn't being talked about like that, then wouldn't you think that no one is actually paying attention to it? That, that's how I try to think of it as. I still seek out critiques, even though I'm not in any classes or anything. I have artist friends who I value their opinion on, and I love their artwork. So I asked my best friend May, I'll leave her link down below. <laughs> And she just makes beautiful artwork, so of course I want to know her input and her opinion about what I'm creating. Take this piece for example, it's not necessarily a finished 
artwork so i'm gonna ask her opinion and have her critique it so that i could understand the subject that i'm trying to convey better so that when i actually do want to paint it it will have a stronger meaning it will be more clear about what i'm trying to convey because i was watching bojack horseman and there was a character that said when you view someone with rose colored glasses all the red flags don't look like red flags they just look like flags i probably got that quote wrong but you understand the sort of meaning i'm trying to convey and i feel like since i said it now you know but if i didn't you wouldn't understand what this piece was about, supposed to be about. What are your guys' opinion about this sort of subject? Let me know down below. Because after all, this is my channel, these are my opinions. You might have a differing opinion, and I'd really like to get your view on how you feel about this subject. Let me know. <laughs> Well, I do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this video. I do have a Patreon if you want to have early access to my videos. My tier is starting at just $1 a month. I also have other social media platforms, which of course are free. So you can follow me at Instagram at Cassie.Frass, Facebook at Cassie Frass Art, Twitter at Cassie Frassies. I'll see you later, Gators.